Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to create a legacy title and set our sequence settings to an aspect ratio of 1280 by 720. Um, this is the start of a project. If you have footage that you're going to be using that you didn't film yourself um, for your sequence setting, file, new, and you're going to come down here to legacy title. It's important to set your aspect ratio to 1280 by 720 um, right here so that then your quality will um, be set and then you can modify your images accordingly. Um, for your time base, you can set this to whatever you like. I'm going to go with 30 frames per second and then hit OK. For your slate, uh, for the purpose of our classes, our slates are uh, tend to be your name, uh, the school, and then the month and the year that the project is due, and then your project title. So I'm going to simply hit the T. <clears throat> I'm going to work my way in between these safety lines right here um, so that I know for a fact that my text will be inside of my um, shot, no matter what um, video format it's being watched as. And I will type my name. I will type the school. I will type the month and the year. And then I will say project title. Um, if I'd like to change uh, the font that's on here, I can simply highlight it, click right here, and modify it to a font that I like a little bit better. Maybe we'll put something a little thicker. <coughs> I'll center align it right there. Uh, if I wanted to modify the size, I could simply click and drag, or I could click and head back to 100. If I wanted to do the kerning, which is the space between my text. I could go this way to the right or this way to the left even. Uh, Command Z will undo. Um, or if I want to modify the space between my lines, maybe I do actually, we'll go with like an extra 10 spaces in between the line and you'll see right there, it's also called your leading. Grab my selection tool again and then I'm just going to modify the size of my text box and then I'm going to come down here. These are some uh, pretty awesome tools. This will just center align you vertically and horizontally and so you don't have to, you know, try to line it up perfectly with your little hash marks right here. When I come over to the legacy title properties, I always recommend putting on an outer stroke um, on your text, especially if it's going to overlay um, a background that might have multicolors. So for this one, we'll, um, you could throw on a black back, uh, black backstroke if you wanted to, um, modifying your size right here on the side. Um, if you wanted to change the color of that, you're more than welcome to. And then to modify the fill inside of your text, you would just underneath fill. So if it's hiding, you can just click on that. I have solid selected. You have a whole bunch of different options here. I'm going to stick with solid. And then if I wanted to, I could pick maybe a bright color for inside or let's go with pink and then hit OK. Um, because my background is going to be black, as most slates um, are, and as they're required to be in my class, I'm going to make that line on the outside white. Okay, when you're done, you just hit X, and you'll see that it automatically appears in your media browser down here. And I'll just drag and drop that onto my timeline. There we go. When I drag and drop it, it sets my timeline's aspect ratio then to the 1280 by 720 that we originally had. If you need to make any modifications to this, you can simply double click it and your legacy title window will open again with all of your modifications. Um, if I needed to change something else over here, like oh, make that a lowercase, just simply do that right there. All right, if I wanted to see this a little bit bigger and have like a little viewing of my thumbnail, I could just simply click this button right to the left of my video track one. Um, and I'll be able to see everything that's added from this point forward. If I wanted to modify this duration, I could right click or uh, control click will also do that for you. And then I can modify my speed and duration. Um, you know, maybe I want to make this six seconds long. Um, or we'll go back and go to five seconds. Okay, and that's it.